I am beyond proud of myself, okay? There was no part of me that wanted to do this. And as I start doing more and more things, I deem as hard in my head, I realize it's not as hard as I kept saying and hyping it up in my head for it to be. And I just need to take action and do it. Hey y'all, all right, listen, the time has come for me to declutter my closet. What you're about to see here, what you're witnessing right here is just a lot, okay? I cannot begin to tell you how hard it's been for me to find certain clothes, shoes, pack, find makeup stuff, hair stuff, my wigs, just purses. It has gotten to the point where it takes me an extra 15 to 20 minutes just to find something in my closet and I just cannot take it anymore. And every time I wanna do my makeup or go someplace or wear something that's not like in my drawers, in my bedroom, uh, it takes me, like I said, an extra 20, 25 minutes. It's crazy. You should have seen me when I was packing for our spring break trip, it was just, pure bedlam. And so today's the day. I've got two days and probably about, I'd say six hours, two hours today. I'm gonna try to do four hours tomorrow to clear this stuff out, get it done, and just have restore order back into my closet. Because like I said, it's super, I can't find anything. I don't know what I have, I'm buying extra stuff, I'm running out of space, which means I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. 80% of the stuff in there I do not wear. I just have to get to it because there is no part of me that wants to do this right now. Absolutely no part of me that wants to partake in this at all. But I've got to really push myself and dig deep and get her done. So let's go ahead and get started. sweating y'all okay it's been about an hour and a half really has it been an hour and a half yeah hour and a half but I've been working on taking everything out for about an hour because I took like 20 minutes to hydrate and get a snack okay so my goal for today was to get everything off the floor and kind of go through everything that was on the floor y'all look at the floor of my closet look at this it is crazy the amount of stuff that was just on the floor in my closet. I mean, I just didn't realize how big my closet was. I felt like I was suffocating so much. Every single time I even looked in here or stepped foot in here, I was suffocating by the sheer amount of things. It just got to be unbearable. I'm not even thinking about trying to tackle 
the stuff that's on the shelves or hanging up. But when I show you the amount of stuff that came off the floor of my, of my closet, it, you guys are gonna be shocked. I'm embarrassed to be quite honest, but it is what it is. I have to be held accountable. You know, please don't judge. Um, if you judge, just keep it to yourself. <laughs> don't, don't leave it in the comments, okay? For one and for two, you know, if I, the girl, the woman that I want to be, she does not keep her closet like this. She's got the Ikea packs built-in system. Everything's nice and kept. And that's who I am striving to become, that girl. Okay, she's already inside of me. And you know, this this has been a running theme in most of my videos talking about that. The person that I wanna be, the person that God wants me to be and that, you know, I have so many opportunities and so many blessings, I need to take better care of my things. So y'all, wait till I show you how much stuff came out of the floor of my closet. Okay, because this is all we're dealing with today. I've got to deal with all this stuff. The clothes and the stuff on the shelves we'll deal with tomorrow. As a reminder, this is all the stuff that was on the floor, the floor only. I'm so glad that I reset my bedroom and I really did a nice clean with me. I changed my sheets. We are in the process of redoing my bedroom. I am going to redo the closet too. That's another thing that's on our to-do list. Um, but I got to get rid of a lot of this stuff before I can even think about doing anything with the storage in my closet. But I did a video recently of me just resetting my room. I'm so glad I was able, I did that because I would not have been able to pull all this stuff out on top of a mess, okay? If you're interested, you could tap this eye right here to watch it. All right, let me show y'all. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Look, all this stuff was on the floor of my closet, okay? All of this. <sighs> There was a method to my madness. Here I have bags, trash, the sheer amount of hair that I have in my closet. Honestly, truly, it's ridiculous. And the problem is I had so much crap, I just did not know everything that I had. Cause every time I would get ready to do the girl's hair, I would, or my hair, I'd go buy some more hair or buy whatever I need instead of digging through the mounds in my closet. Okay, that's all hair tools. These are shoes luggage and travel bags my shoe caddy that has shoes in it luggage i have two foot baths because i got two for christmas on accident and i was leaving them in my closet i don't have room for that makeup which by the way most of it is, is it expired so i'm just gonna throw it all away really more like packing cubes and travel bags bathing suits this is stuff i know for sure i'm gonna donate and perfume and then a few things that were on my bed clothes because most of this is not clothes as you could see i'm thinking about what jessica the professional organizer that i hired to help me she pretty much helped me do every room upstairs except for my master bedroom she told me to everything in here is either trash donatable or something you want to keep so my goal right now is to go through everything that's trash get it in the trash bag then step two is going to be to pull out everything that i want to donate get it in a bag and get it in my car. The trash has to go out in the garage. And then everything I wanna keep, I'm gonna have to find a system or a place to put it in my room so that I can effectively and proficiently access it when I need it, all right? So that's what we gotta do. I have about 15 minutes before the girls get home, but um, this is probably gonna take me an, at least at a minimum another hour. I have to knock this out tonight. There are no options. Let's get it. I feel like I've done so much and absolutely nothing all at the same time. I mean, it is, wow. I'm like beyond, like, oh. <laughs> I am beyond drained to say the least. I still feel like it's a hot mess in here. There's still so much to do. It's been two hours since the last time I spoke with you. I kind of just cut the camera off and just really honed in on trying to do stuff, but then I feel like there's still stuff everywhere. Let me just give you an update as to where I am. All right, so no, I know it looks like I didn't do anything, but remember that huge pile of hair? I went through everything, put it all in two bags of hair that I use for the girls and hair that I don't use often. I know, I know. It's a lot. I just don't have the mental capacity right now to decide what I wanna throw away. These are all my hair tools. I swear, 
I was a hairstylist. You would you would think that I have a hair shop. That's how much hair stuff I have. I've been doing hair for a really long time. I was that girl in college where people, I would do people's hair. I started doing hair when I was 10. Anyway, to make a long story short, I know I have a lot of hair stuff. It is what it is. I'm keeping all of that as of right now. I haven't gone through my handbags yet or just bags in general. I did go through the shoes and my luggage pieces. Those are sitting in my bathroom waiting for me to put those away because I went through all of that. That's all my um, like toiletry bags, little, little mini bags, uh, packing cubes and stuff like that. These are boots that I'm going to keep. All of my flats are already in the shoe caddy. This is everything I'm donating. Hello, this huge pile right here. I still have a ways to go. I still have all that to go through, which is my makeup, which I'm literally gonna throw away 80% of my makeup because it's old. I've had it for a really long time, an embarrassing long amount of time. And then I have all my perfume and body sprays and stuff. I don't even know how to display that. As of right now, I'm just gonna have to keep it in that until I'm able to, you know, put the built-ins in my closet. I went through this phase where I wanted to make my own soap and face wash. That's what that is. It was a very short-lived face. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say on that. And this is all random stuff that I have to go through. So that, and of course the foot spas. I cannot leave my room like this. So I'm gonna have to just dig deep and continue to push through. So we are back. It's day two. So last night I straightened up a little bit more. I vacuumed in there. I put the donate stuff in bags. And now I'm gonna show you where the room is at now and what I need to do today because I don't have as much time today. I have one hour right now and then I'm gonna try to get some done tonight. It's hard to film in here at night because as you could see, the lighting is very yellow and if I don't have any natural daylight coming in, it looks too yellow. But anyway, but my goal, I have to get this done today though, at least to a place where I'm having some people come in and clean the house tomorrow and I cannot have them come and clean with my room looking like this. So yeah, today I'm gonna go through my makeup I'm throwing away like I said 80% of my makeup because it's old and it is what it is and I have to go through all the clothes that are hanging up or folded on the shelves so let's just get to it honestly you guys coming in here just walking into my bathroom it feels so much lighter because there's nothing on the floor I just can't explain it to you like I, it just even walking in to my bathroom like this is the first thing I look at through the door and it's so nice that it's so clear and that the door can be opened all the way because there's nothing behind it. I have um, hooks back there. It's nice, I'm not gonna lie. So I did, I went through all of my shoes. I have a whole bag of, of shoes that I'm donating. These are the shoes that I'm keeping in my boots. And then over here is the hair bags. I know, I know. I'm not gonna keep these hair bags forever. I am one day going to be able to go through the hair and like just throw some away. But I don't know. I just don't want to throw it away right now. And then I have my tub of bathing suits and like bathing suit cover ups and stuff like that. And then this is my travel bags. I know it's like, it seems to be like a little bit ridiculous. I'm not going to lie, it is, but it is what it is for right now. And then I have my luggage over here snuck in this corner. So now I'm going to go through here and pick out what I don't want. I still have like purses. I don't have any place for my purses and stuff like that. It's just hard. Um, my jewelry, it's just. I have to get some sort of system in here. I have my jeans, shorts, stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and go through it all and then prayerfully put it all back. We'll see how long it's gonna take. So in my room, I have, this is trash. This is the rest of the hair stuff, like accessories and I don't know, hair tools. I know, I know. And then over here, I have miscellaneous and makeup and perfume. So I just have to, I'm gonna have to just make some decisions here. But I know that I need to get rid of more stuff. Like this is all trash and this is donation, but I know I can do better than that. Like I, I need more space in my closet, so I have to get rid of more things.
all of that was like my corporate America stuff. And, you know, corporate America was such a huge part of my life um, for so long. And I'm like emotionally attached to every suit I have, every dress shirt, every skirt. I'm like emotionally tied to it because it was such a huge part of my life. Like that's where I met my husband, like, like every pair of pants, like I can remember certain meetings or where I was at at that point in my life or what projects I was working on at that time. And I don't know, I'm just like, emotionally attached to a lot of the pieces because I started working in corporate America when I was 22. <laughs> I worked for 15 years and now I work for myself. I've been working for myself now since 2019. And so, yeah, I'm just really emotionally attached to a lot of those pieces and it's hard, but you know, I, I just tell myself, you know, this could really bless someone who is maybe starting off in their career. And a lot of this stuff is still stylish because you can't even buy some of these pieces anymore because the limited, which was my jam. If you know, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you remember the limited, but the limited is where I got like, or the express is where I got like all of my corporate attire. And um, they're all different sizes. I remember how I would feel about my body at that time. It's just like, it's crazy, you know? It's crazy, but it is what it is. It's going to bless someone else. So I'm shocked that I even got rid of as much as I did. I still have quite a few pieces, as you can see. These I just want to keep for right now. It's baby steps, but I did get rid of all this. Like these were all hung up on these. So I got rid of quite a few pieces. So I'm proud of myself on that. And so now I'm going to do the very top shelf, which is just like all random stuff. I think I still have maternity clothes up there. So we could get rid of those for sure. <laughs> so let me go ahead and pull that down. loved this shirt when I was pregnant with Zara. <laughs> I loved this shirt. I wore it all the time. I loved it, but it's okay. Somebody, it'll bless somebody else. My maternity bathing suit that I had <laughs> when I was pregnant with Ava, because she was a summer baby. Oh, you know what else? I leave my Disney stuff up there because I don't wear Disney t-shirts on a regular. I mean, I am a Marvel fan, even though this is DC. I will I will wear Marvel stuff or DC, like a t-shirt like this, but like lots of Mickey Mouse t-shirts and Akuna Matata t-shirts, like I don't wear that on a regular basis. I only wear it when we go to Disney, like we went to Disney last year. So that's why I was storing that up there. So I feel like that can probably go back there, right? Because I don't know. And then I don't know. I promise y'all, I do not have baby fever at all. Okay. But look at this little baby diaper. Oh, goodness. I don't know why this is up here. I don't know why I saved it and put it up there, but. Hmm, baby. It smells like a baby. But it can go in the trash. Okay. Because we're, we're clearing up the space in here and it feels so much lighter. I'm really proud of myself. <music> Update. This is where the professional comes in because I want to stop so bad. Like I cannot explain to you how bad I wish I could just snap my fingers and this be done. This is not fun. I'm not one of those people that gets off on organizing. I like the after. I get off on the after like, oh my gosh, this is all totally worth it. But like right now, right now, I can cry. I can cry right now. Mm -hmm. So let me show you what I what I've done here. All this stuff that I pulled down from up there, it's not stuff that I, I wanna get um, get rid of. It's just, I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, so I'm just leaving it here. This is all Donate. I've already bagged two full trash bags full of Donate over there from when I was pulling all my corporate clothes off here. This is a mixture of dresses and corporate clothes donating. This is stuff I wanna keep that I pulled off the drawer here. And like this, is a combination of what was here and what was hanging up here. It doesn't look like I got rid of that much, but 
I feel like I got rid of quite a bit because it was to the point where I was all out of my velvet hangers and I started folding things that shouldn't be folded over here because I ran out of my velvet hangers. That's how I knew it was like time for me to declutter my closet. This is essentially how much stuff I got rid of that was hanging. So now I have plenty of velvet hangers. This is like my indicator to know because sometimes you just don't realize, you know, how much stuff you're bringing in. And so it's, it's great that I can see that now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bag this stuff up. I'm running out of time. I've got to stop for a little bit. Sorry, that's my washing machine. I've got to, I'm gonna bag this stuff up and then I've got to refold everything, go through that up there. That's like all my nail stuff. Like it's all nails up there. Um, I don't even really do my nails like that. I have these stick on nail polish, that's it. <laughs> and my sit under dryer. And then I still have to do this section, which is like wigs and jewelry. So, and purses. We're making it, I'm, I, I could see the light at the end of the tunnel, girl, but that tunnel is long. So we just gotta keep on pushing through. Hey y'all, so it's been a couple days. Let me go ahead and give you guys an update. <laughs> I know you're probably like, Gia, what is going on? Basically we had our home cleaned on Friday. So I had to move everything that was on the floor in my room. I moved it into the floor here of the closet, but it's okay, all these bags, obviously are either trash or donation. So I'm feeling really good with that. I actually went through all of my makeup. I threw away, I have a huge bag. As a matter of fact, the trash is probably still in here of makeup that I just threw away. I'm so happy with what I have left, but I have to figure out the rest of the hair accessories and stuff. And I have a few things like on the floor here that I have to just figure out where to put. I have these sweaters up here and I can't remember if I talked to you about that. I'm putting them up there to see if I actually reach for them to wear them because when they were down here, never warm. I should just get rid of them. I really should just donate them, but I don't know. I'm just not ready yet. I probably won't use them. So when I go to declutter my closet next year or when I get ready to redo the cl my closet, um, you know, built in storage that I wanna put in here, and they're still up there with dust on them, for sure, it's time to donate them. So now I'm just gonna finish up. This is, this is the last day. I wanna finish this up. I'm gonna make a uh, Goodwill run tomorrow. It'll be done. I'll tell you what though, um, I we went to a birthday party and it was so easy getting ready for the birthday party to just come in here. Everything was just laid out nicely. My jewelry was laid out nicely. I mean, not nicely, but it's just a lot better than what it was for sure, where I could see everything. And it was so much easier to get ready. I could not even express to you how much time it saved me, especially just having all my shoes put away. So the other thing is like my hamper, I wanna get a square hamper because the round one just takes up a lot of extra space. I want just like a square hamper that fits in the corner and I'll have to find one of those. So I know what I have to do today. Let me just go ahead and get started. myself okay because I there was no part of me that wanted to do this and as I start doing more and more things that I deem as hard in my head I realize it's not as hard as I kept saying and hyping it up in my head for it to be and I just need to take action and do it 
that's how you conquer that you just have to take action a baby step towards it because i'm done let me show you all right y'all here we have it <laughs> you guys remember what it looked like before i mean this whole side was so jam-packed and now i love the way it looks i like the way it flows like when I walk into my bathroom, I don't see a whole bunch of clutter on the floor and crap, like I can't step in here. I wasn't able to vacuum in here. And so uh, it's nice to just have it cleared out. You know, I feel like there's such a huge weight lifted off of my shoulders and I'm feeling really good about it. So yeah, I'm feeling good. I have that stuff up there. That's like Christmas and uh, Disney stuff that I don't wear you know only if i'm at disney i wear the disney stuff and only at christmas time as, as i wear that christmas stuff but then the other sweaters like i said i'm gonna test to see if i pull them out i recite reuse these baskets from my laundry room when i decluttered that as i mentioned before i hired a professional to help me declutter all the other rooms i learned so much from her and it's just been so helpful you know um so i had these um baskets and i have like i do wax i wax myself at home underneath my arms and stuff um sometimes so i have my stuff in there for that and then i have all my shoes wait till you guys see how many shoes i got rid of i mean it's crazy i got rid of so many clothes so many corporate america clothes everything's now jam-packed into that little corner and then i have my jackets here and then I have my nicer shirts here. I don't even wear most of the stuff. I really could have gotten rid of a lot more, but it's baby steps. I'm proud of myself. I have a place for all my purses that I could clearly see what I have. All of my, let's see, I switched now. All my makeup fits in there now. And it's not even all the way full. It's really empty makeup bags, hair, travel stuff, luggage. I'm just feeling really good. Now on this side, I have like my everyday sweatshirts and jeans and shorts, just loungewear kind of stuff that I don't have folded in my room. Nail stuff, hair, my wigs. That's like, if I wear a wig, that's usually the wig I wear. Jewelry, now I can see easily. And I'm just like happy, it looks nice. You know, now is it is it perfect? Absolutely not, it is not. I have my robes hanging here. It's not perfect, but it's so much better than where it was, y'all. Like, I cannot even begin to tell you how much better it is now. <laughs> I could clearly see everything. Like, it was totally worth the time and energy. energy. Now, let me show you all of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. The true test is how much are you getting rid of? Cause you don't wanna just shuffle stuff. That's how I used to declutter before, is just shuffling stuff around. Look at all this, all of this is donations. All like some purses that I know I'm not gonna wear again. My old diaper bag, why was I still having that in my closet? That's all shoes, clothes, 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 clothes. So I'm really happy. Um, this is all trash and recycle. So that's like what, three, eight bags, nine if you include all that. Nine bags worth of stuff, right? So I'm happy, I can't wait to go to Goodwill and just get it out of the house. I'm gonna immediately go ahead and put this stuff in my car and then I'll put this out in the garage for the trash day and we're done. <sighs> I feel so good, y'all. So here is my public service announcement for today. Do the thing, do the thing that you thought was too hard because trust me, it's probably not as hard as you think and you can probably figure it out. You're smart enough to do it. So I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to do this on my own without Jessica here, the professional declutterer. Now I will, you know, call her if it's something that I for sure cannot handle myself, but like, I'm just really, 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 really happy with the results. It's so much easier. So thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. I love you guys so much. And I encourage you to live your best life because I'm trying to live my best life, girl. Thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.